would say in a matter from 18 to 27, 28 years old, I, there was rarely a weekend that I, a, a whole week that I did partying without doing drugs. So, um, so, you know, fast forward, met my husband, got married when I was just to, about to turn 30. We had two kids, you know, and substance, you know, doing cocaine didn't really correlate with being, <laughs> being married. He also was, you know, he wasn't, that wasn't going to fly with him either, even though he partied okay. and we would once in a while together, but, um, sure. but I also was really happy. I was really happy with my husband nice. and, it, you know, um, we had fun and, you know, we would party once in a while, but it just wasn't a, it wasn't a thing. and. And then I got pregnant and started having babies. And and the older you get, like, you can't really sustain that lifestyle, right? Um, For sure. sure. Like, it's hard to recoup from. So after my first baby, I'm like, I'm out. I can't can't even (laughs) do this anymore. Well, I mean, try having a baby, stay in, you know, like, you know, to take care of and and party and stay up, you know, it just doesn't work. A question about your double life. Kim, um, mm-hmm. you were talking about having a double life. And I think a lot of folks probably deal with that. Did you have moments where you would like, where you would come back to your, like to who you were, to who you actually are? And then were you like, well, what just happened? W- was there any of like that dissociation or was it pretty much like we're okay living this life and then you were okay living the other life and you could just play both of them simultaneously? Yeah, it was, it, it wasn't really a conscious thing that I recognized while it was happening, you know, but it's something after doing a lot of, you know, recovery work and, and recognizing, and that feeling still looms sometimes when I feel like a fraud or I don't feel good enough, or I feel, you know, it carries over into my recovery <laughs> life. So it carries over. It's just that thing. I mean, at the time I didn't realize that, right. It, it, and it was all about, so what it really was all about was managing it. Right. When we talk about managing our addiction, managing the lifestyle, um, it's like running two full-time jobs, right. It was exhausting sure. in one hand, God. you know, yeah. uh, you know, where are you going to get the money to, to use by, you know, when, where, how are you going to make it look like you're not doing it? You know, um, you know, and just the whole lifestyle of like partying all weekend and, and even having social obligations, family gatherings and things and saying, yeah, 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 mom, I'll be there. And then not showing up. My mom used to have this saying, I'll believe it when I see the whites of your eyes, you know, she still has, a a, a, uh, I don't know. I call a resentment, a, but a, a big disappointment that I missed um, her. I think it was their 25 or maybe 40 year a wedding anniversary that I didn't show up to. And, and I also um, didn't make it to my sister's. I was my sister's bridesmaid and I didn't make it to, um, I don't know if it was her shower, her wedding shower or her bachelorette. I think it was her shower. Like I, I didn't make it because I'd been up all night partying, you know? So just and I could count, but you know, a lot of things where I, I, I didn't show up. You know, I and boy, did I become a really good liar. I always had a story. Always had a reason why. Yeah. Um, oh, this happened. Oh, that happened. Oh, I got flat tire. You know, whatever. I was mm. the queen of of stories, right? Yeah. So, but it's exhausting, and and it's so yeah. So I didn't, I didn't realize it at the time, you know, yeah, you kind of come back to, right. You may come to and be like, and feel that, that weight of, of guilt and shame. Right. And so what do you do to feel better? You use again, right. To kind of shove that down. Right. Because we're not in within integrity of, you know, who we really are. So it's just like, ah, shove it down, make an excuse for it. So we, you know, talk about minimize, rationalize, and justify. Like that was my life. Mm. Minimizing, rationalizing, and justifying everything and to make it okay. Like years of making it okay. It's okay. Every, you know, whatever reason until it's not. 